Hey everybody, welcome back to camp. It's the hunting edition. Kind of hunting. Smoke's in my eyes. We're not really hunters, so, but you know, we look for every opportunity to come out into the woods and make fires, so that's what we're going to do. And we have a uh, review of a bell tent, a white duck Avalon 13 foot bell tent. I got a spot cleared for it here. We're going to set it up. You saw the stove that we got previously. Hopefully it'll keep us warm this evening. I think put it over there. Right here? Yeah. Works for me. That's what you got there. I got a little anchor for a uh, camp grill. I'm gonna use this little mini sledge to... Sledge it into place. This is the... Good. The grill. Interesting. Let's see what's going on there. Ooh. And then that locks it in. Wait, something's not right there. I think you need to... I think this needs to lower some. Like something wasn't... Yeah. This is gonna get hot. Oh, that's hot fast. Damn. <laughs> Gloves. There it is. Nice. bag in a box. You got poles. White Duck Outdoors Avalon Bell Tent 13 foot. There is a 16 and a half foot and a 20 foot available. So yeah, all that stuff. Steaks? I think there's steaks and eggs. Mm. I looked at this, like you would have to actually take this all the way out. Yeah. It seems like a pain. Come on, why can't there just be clips on this? Oh, there's a... Steaks and a mallet. And this is like unwrapping a, a nicely wrapped up turkey. Okay, help us remember how to fold this back up. Step one, spread out the ground sheet tent cover. It's like an omelet. through the ground.
got all the pins in. center pole in with this towards the top. Push the pole hey. and raise the roof. When the top part of the pole Position at the center of the top circle. All together with the rubber hose. Oh, weird looking rubber hose at that. Got this little uh, rubber piece that you take off, put it through the hole. And put that piece back in. There we go. Into that. So much work. No, we don't have to do those yet. I'm hitting rock. It says to um, stake them gently and then use the guideline later to tighten everything. Come this way. Oh no. And, um, what you got here? Oh. Well, I got this one loose. I need You gotta tighten the guy lines. It's got these little fasteners. You just pull. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good, right? About this, I think this is in the wrong spot. You want to throw me the old magic, magic mallet, clunky in the face. So yeah, one tip: you do want to make sure you get your guy line JPEGs uh, kind of centered in between each other. Otherwise, it doesn't pull this out evenly. Come inside and see. Yeah, yeah, we're not we're not caring about that. Whoa. Whoa. Can you move the floor? You thought you can clean it. Stove jack. I got there. A roast. Bottom round. Yeah, I'm gonna stick it on some fire after I rub it with some stuff here in a second. It'll be, it'll be good. So we have the triple wall pipe to the chimney, and then this flushing kit. So this will fit through here. You have to. Cut a hole in the tent for this to go in, though. Talk about scary. Cut a hole in the roof of the tent. It's 
it's got the stove jack, but with this flashing, we have to cut a hole here. So I'm going to mark it. Center it on there. And I'm going to mark the holes also. I'm not really sure how I'm going to cut the holes. I guess I do have a drill, but I don't know if that's going to work. Now I get to do something scary and cut it with a pocket knife because I don't have scissors. So before you do this, make sure that you open your canvas flat on the outside because you don't want to cut holes or drill holes through it. I decided I think I'm going to try to drill through before I cut the big hole. That works pretty good. Actually does really good, really well. I thought that would be a much bigger ordeal. Now, this. This is just at the wrong height for me. I don't know if I would recommend you doing this. Trade me spots. Might need your help in a second here. Yeah, I figured that's why I came over. You want me to hold that? No, but the uh You need a buddy for this part. Just poke one through. Once you get it up there so I can kind of... Uh -oh. Okay, there's the... Hold on. There's the rubber. And now... Probably should get two of them lined up before we yeah. tighten all the way down. I think this stuff is fire resistant anyway, so like we could probably have put this stuff directly, the cut yeah. a hole to the size of the triple wall pipe. But this is just extra, extra insulation against burning down your new thousand dollar tent. Uh, to go underneath the stove, I brought some cement board. Hopefully that works. You saw this last time we had the Winter Well Nomad Medium. I think the damper is supposed to go on the very first spot number one. The trick, I think, is getting this to line up just right. And it it says in the instructions that the silicone is supposed to be underneath the fifth, at least the fifth row, which that's not going to work. Oh, I forgot. Got to do the legs. That'll help. It needs to be raised up a little bit. <clears throat> hmm. Some two by fours underneath. Might have to do that. Let's go check outside and see how high it is above the. It's 
So yeah, you can definitely tell where we need to lift the stove up a little bit. I got my cut. I'm gonna stake my claim. Where do I wanna be? floor could have been pulled out a little bit more when we put the pins in. It's a little wavy. It'll work though. So far I'm pretty impressed with this tent. It's very heavy. You can tell it's going to be very durable. It's a lot of work to set up though. It's not quite level enough. Luke's busy over here. That look leveler? Yeah, that's what I did. But now is that over, right over the fire? I can't tell because it's... We got some pre-made chili warming up. This is the one that has the elk in it. <laughs> how far? Are you? Did you how, are you kidding? You grow? Screw you! All the propane you use. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> yep, that's it. You sure. Yep. See how many kids can hit their head on this thing. Attach multiple ways. Think that's gonna hold? We have a sink. Oh. We have that uh, bucket. Metal bucket. That might be good. We have a uh, faucet. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Luxury. Now, Luxury. Now you got something that we. This is where we put a paper towel roll. Oh, man. But it, I don't think. I think this is not wide enough for paper towel. Oh. But it could hang. We're gonna build our first tent fire. If you have a uh, metal cookie sheet to leave under here, so you know if you open it, you could scrape ash into it. All right, dampers open. It's going to put a lot of smoke in here. 
I normally would leave the door open longer, but I'm just going to open the... Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, it's still that top one. There you go. I guess we could light it like this. Mm -hmm. That's the only bad review I've heard about these things is some... Ooh, it's hot already. Yeah, there's a flame right on that. Is the smoke... A little bit of smoke can come in here into your tent. But we do have these. I wouldn't recommend doing it in an airtight tent, but we got these little vents up here. And we got all the windows in the world. <laughs> That's got, for the summertime. Yeah, let that breeze through. Look at all these windows. We got roast with potatoes and carrots. Good morning. How'd you guys sleep? It stayed pretty toasty in here last night. It started raining early this morning. Not a bunch of rain, but the tent stayed dry. There was just one small spot where it was leaking in the stitching knot in this uh, stove jack. Other than that, it was good. Very nice. Too windy to cook outside, so we're gonna make egg sandwiches inside. Hey. Fried bread. Is it burnt? Is it burnt? No, it's perfect. Precarious. Oh, almost going over the edge. Oh no. This could be a disaster. Ooh, gooey. Why are they so gooey? This one's already like fried chicken on the bottom. I'm in the predicament. Got some cheese on there. Deal. The wind is not your friend. No, it's not. Ah, oh, neither is an egg sandwich. Oh, there's no egg in there. Ha. Uh oh. What? Oh, it's hot. Now the too much salt. It almost tastes like there's sausage on there. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Well, now comes the worst part, where we gotta pack everything up. No fun at all.
Well, we're all packed up. We're ready to go. This concludes Camp Nobody Hunting Edition. Thanks for hanging around and watching. If you like it, then why don't you hit that like button? And if you don't like it, maybe you should still hit the like button. Or hit the subscribe button. Maybe that's even better. Alright, we'll see you guys. Thanks for watching.